Microsoft recently announced Windows 11, but a lot of users aren't sure if their older PCs meet the requirements to qualify for a free upgrade. If you're using older hardware, why not try Linux? It's much more secure, can run on almost anything, and is 100% free. If you're just starting out on your Linux journey, or you're just curious, here's what we recommend. We based our selection criteria on stability, usability, and wide community support. With that in mind, for an absolute beginner, we recommend that you try Linux Mint. Clicking on the relevant link in the description below will show you three possible additions for you to try, Cinnamon being the flagship experience. If you have older hardware and two gigabytes of RAM or less, you may want to try the other two instead. Once you've created an installer USB and booted it, you'll be prompted to start straight into preview mode before installing via the desktop shortcut. Though more advanced users may see this as just an extra step, forced preview mode gives you a good idea of what you're getting into with the option to back out. The operating system is also more streamlined and straightforward about things, like what updates are for and which are more important. As one of the more mainstream and popular versions of desktop Linux used by millions, it's kept extremely stable by design, with community support only a few clicks away. If you're looking for something different and maybe more similar to Windows 10, the latest version of Solus Budgie might be your cup of tea. Like with Linux Mint, its installation media will prompt you to start the system in preview mode so you get a feel of what you're getting into. Though it looks somewhat similar to the Cinnamon desktop, the Budgie desktop gives you a few extra features, like a notification sidebar with integrated clock and calendar. Under the hood, it works a little bit differently as well. While Linux Mint bases itself off of a major stable version of Linux, Solus uses a rolling release, so any major version changes are done in the background over the course of a couple of updates, rather than one big version update. So long as the project is alive, you can just keep updating forever. While the Solus team and community may not be as big as Linux Mint's, the system is still well kept and very stable. If you're looking for more of a Mac-like experience, you might want to try the latest long-term release of Ubuntu Budgie. Selecting Try Ubuntu Budgie from the Installers option list will boot you into preview mode, with a welcome screen for further information if you need help looking around, as well as a few options to try out, like a few theme colors and desktop layouts. By default, you've got a dock with a few apps at the bottom, indicators at the top right, and your main menu at the top left for familiarity. Like its name suggests, the OS is based on Ubuntu, which gives you access to software, updates, and support across the entire community. Ubuntu Mate's latest long-term release rounds off our list. Booting into preview mode, you're greeted with a similar welcome screen. Though the default desktop layout is pretty intuitive by default, if you're not satisfied with the dual panel layout and green theme, you can opt to change things up. If none of the defaults work for you, you can opt for the closest thing and customize what you need on the panels from there. Desktop aside, you can further customize your themes and icons under the Appearance tab. With a bit of work looking through your options, you can have something that looks like anything from Windows XP to Windows 11. It can be as simple or as complex as you want. As one of Ubuntu's golden distributions, Ubuntu Mate is extremely well supported and very well polished. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Linux and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.